Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finish up the main quest, Fire in the Sky. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. No more roads. We'll have to find our own path. Do you feel that, Clive? Ether. That is a deep hole. Just what we need. Another flood. It's already turned them. Then there's no reason to hold back. Too slow. It's over. Stay down. You're finished. Awesome. Got a level? Make it look easy. It's a lich. Of course You're it is. You're a fine hound. Take out these guys first. And then take care of the lich. Nice try. Too slow. Kind of hard to see. Get my ass whooped because I can't see. Nice try. to climb up. Right there. Just checking for a chest or two. Just in case. Ooh, what does that do for Judgment Bolt? Reduces cooldown time. Do we have anything for... Um, 
Aerial Blast. Oh, yes, that is really good. Now we'll be able to get that back a little sooner. Is that the Phoenix? Joshua! What is he doing? Keeping Bahamut occupied. Joshua! Joshua! Don't, Clive. It's too dangerous. Fuck. Hold on, Joshua. I'm coming! We have to save him. And we will. We just need to keep moving. Not them again! Not now! Not bad! It's... What was that? Bahamut. He'll kill us all. There he is. Joshua! I'm here, brother! Clive. He can't hear you. Joshua! They're heading for the heart. Then so should we. Damn, I hate, I hate these specters. Stay down. You're finished. Nice try. Too slow. Back if you must. Mission accomplished, I suppose. Something like that, Jill. We don't have time for this! Nice try. Waken! Give me thunder! Ah! 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 Ah!
Spectres. Yeah, that comes back a lot faster than what it did before. I thought I seen something over here. Guess not. Are those the council chambers? How are they still standing? I don't know. <sighs> He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. like somebody doesn't want us getting any closer. I don't care what it wants. <laughs> Neither do I. Beating this guy's ass. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Bastard. Careful. 
Nice try. Stand fast. Too slow. Nice try. I don't want to know what that is. We have to end this right now. Ow. Dude's no joke. Too slow. Oh my God. These beasts, they're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. The heart. <sighs> that guy was pretty beefy. We might be able to get up through the building. It's worth a try. Quiet. There's someone up there. child you made with the Emperor. Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? 
You have no right! <gasps> Answer him! We took you in, savage. Show some respect for those who raised you! <gasps> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people! A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it! The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors! How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? Joshua's every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! <sighs> Joshua, my darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. <gasps> Please let me kill her. <laughs> Joshua, wake up. <laughs> I am a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are Ifrit? Clive? Joshua? Clive!
Fuck. That's really pretty. First the helmet, then the heart. Face the consequences. Nice. We're not done yet! Thank, Thank you, you brother. brother. Did quite a bit of damage.
Shit. Can't reach him. Don't do this! No! Brother! I'll come back for you. Pretty cool, using the Phoenix. Your Highness, stop this! Please think of your people! Oh my god, they're just everywhere, aren't they?
By the Founder! Those things are drawing in more ether than I've ever seen! Man, Bahamut is pretty hard. It's now or never, Joshua. Yet. Good Lord. How long is this going to last? Clive, get behind me! <sighs> if you're sure. Thank you, brother. It's almost dead. Now, 
Joshua! Whew, what a fight. After this cutscene, we are going to end the video, but man, that was a crazy fight. This is drinking the ether. We have to stop him. No! I'm here. Oh shit. Founder. Have we become one? This may be enough. We can do it, Clive. We can. And we will. Together. Are you ready? Ready! How can we hope to match such power? By trusting in our own. Oh, I thought I could. Oh my god. <laughs> Worst case scenario.
Oh shit. This is definitely going to be a longer video. I apologize, everybody. Good lord. Don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that, but okay. Oh god, this again.
What in the hell? He would burn the world! Not today. Come on, Joshua! <laughs> okay, maybe we're done fighting Bahamut after this cutscene. I'm definitely going to uh, end the video. Joshua! A Clive! <laughs> My brother, I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I never dared hope that I would see this day. <laughs> <laughs> Reunited at last. Jill.
There. It is done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. <laughs> the Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. Fine. Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. What madness is this, Theon? Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your radiance. And I want you to find out where you can about the Dalmex movement. By the light, Dion. Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. <laughs> Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses her power! What? Tion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the Mother Crystals crumble one by one, and the Blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their Emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the Twins for himself! Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build! Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. 
So go, claim Valastia for me, brother. Father, how he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. <laughs> story. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Mother. If it is consciousness that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Relax. 
Your Majesty. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish... Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness, and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos, and sever every one. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos, and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. Damn. <laughs> Everything looks crazy now. Um, hopefully there's not a long um, cutscene here. But right after we get back to the hideaway, we are going to end the video. This has been such a long video. I apologize, everybody. How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. 
The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. Toya won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Okay, so on that note, we are going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so much for bearing with me in this very, very long video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.